So this is the sixth uh, international congress on the cultural legacy of Uzbekistan, the new renaissance of Uzbekistan. Um, it has been going on for a while, as you can imagine. Um, and the greatest outcome are the monographs, are the publications, the illuminated manuscripts, the very classy, beautifully decorated and so on, which I think is a huge legacy for decades and centuries to come. It's, um, it's an immense work and nothing alike has been done uh, that I've seen recently in the region and beyond. Um, so I'm very happy to be part of it, uh, to be contributing with my archaeological research. And I know that Firdaus, Mr. Fidals Abdul Khalikov has got ever-expanding plans of how mm -hmm. to um, take this organization uh, more abroad, with more collections, with more publications, and more scholars involved. So it's a beautiful event to be involved in, and it's lavish. Yeah, it's like um, the beautiful setting. Uh, we eat way too well, way too much, um, and it's amazing opportunity to network and to meet colleagues and um, to do joint research. And I think the idea of the Congress is also like to have new research coming out of us coming together and then publish more monographs. For the scholarship in Uzbekistan is, is amazing because we get to interact, we get to talk to each other, we get to do research together. For the scholarship in the world, they get to learn about the Uzbek cultural heritage. And it's not just like any books, it's, it's, it's monographs, publications done by leading scholarship in the field. So um, they are gathering excellence here. So what I think is that there should be more projects like this in any Central Asian country. <laughs> but um, it's in Uzbekistan and I'm really happy to be here for that matter. It is my second visit to the Congress, but I think it's my fifth visit to Samarkand. I am already uh, Samarkandska. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm really much enjoying them. So, okay, my favorite food in Samarkand, I have to admit, is katlama patir, which is not a food, but the bread. Um, but the warm one that they make um, with, uh, with uh, onions, and they sell at the train station in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, so that's the one I always ask for my friends uh, from Samarkand when they come to London. Uh, they ask me, what do you want? I said, katlama kapatir. Just katlama kapatir, bring me that. So that's something I really, really love. Obviously, you know, there's unbeatable plov, uh, there's uh, halim. Uh, I really like halim. It reminds me also of the cuisine of Serbia. I'm Serbian. Um, the fruits here have a real taste. That is a, I believe that, I mean, I believe, I know that food in Europe tastes like plastic. But here, the food and the fruits, they have like a real taste. Um, there's just, I love, I love food in Uzbekistan. I think whenever you ask me like, what am I going to eat? Anything, you know, samsa, uh, different kinds of plots. Obviously, uh, every time I come, I'm kind of getting more, uh, I don't know, uh, carpets and scarves and abais and dresses and like adras. And I love Uzbekistan. I have a I have a seamstress here. She did that for me here um, in Samarkand, um, Lola Ahmedova. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of a, I love coming back over and over again. <laughs>